All right, our next guest is one of the inspirational young South Africans who are taking the African continent and soon the world by storm. Wandile Mabanga has designed and created a locally produced world map puzzles, which is a game board, of course. It's called the Map Blitz. Each of the 49 pieces uh, educational board game represents an inland country in Africa. Wandile joins us now in our studio to tell us more about this invention. Wandile, it's a very good morning to you and thank you so much for coming through. Good morning, Palisa and the viewers and thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Now, talk to us about uh, how these came about. What were you thinking? How did it come about? Sure, so I had finished my master's degree and I was thinking about my next step. Should it be academic or entrepreneurial? And given the context, so I went home and spent five months and that's when I actually realized that my own family was happy uh, when we played board games and this was Sundays and I thought, wow, if I can actually make a contribution in this field, that can be um, interesting. But you took quite a, a unique way because this is not like your normal board games. It, it's something to do with uh, our continent, our African continent. Uh, talk to us about how the idea came about. Sure, I agree. So I had uh, the first two board games, which were boss uh, guessing games. And um, yeah, I realized that actually um, they were going to be culturally biased somehow. Mm. So I, I wanted a game that could be played by any kid from any environment. And puzzles were an obvious thing for me. And then I got stuck for about three months. Um, and when I saw the map, I was like, wow, I mean, mm. such power. Power. So that's when the idea came about. All right. So you got stuck for three months. It means it wasn't an easy road. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Yeah. yeah. And they—it's not just for entertainment or for fun because they're also educational. I agree. I mean, uh, here you have the opportunity to learn about the different cultures in the continent and the world. And um, it has an, a unique opportunity because um, it's engaging mm -hmm. as well. You know, um, it's not like an atlas where you can't really feel it. You can play with the pieces and yeah, and engage. All right. I, I'm going to ask you to, to show us a little bit of what you have in front of you right there. But in the meantime, uh, how is it different from your normal puzzles? Um, I think the key with this puzzle is the vision behind and what it can actually offer um, us as a continent. So in the long term, we're planning to have um, uh, what we call cultural diversity tours, where you can fully engage with the Africa um, continent um, diversity. So what that means is you go to a center and you can engage with Gambian food, as in eat it, um, appreciate Eritrean literature and the likes. But to get there, we have to start small. Yeah. And that's where the puzzles get in. People have to know where is Gambia? What is Djibouti? Mm. How does it look like? What's yeah. the size? Because it isn't as we just know them from your atlas and uh, your geography classes, of course, and that's the end of it. I agree. And it's very difficult for especially students to fully appreciate and engage with uh, an atlas. Uh, whereas here they have a unique opportunity and we've seen positive results already. Mm. Uh, like we said, there's also an education perspective into this whole uh, innovation because uh, five schools are already using these puzzles. Yes, yes. So we have five schools, both in Western Cape and Gauteng. Um, they're using it for geography, history, and some private schools are using it for African studies. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, they've gotten back to us and uh, we keep actually engaging because we're trying to, to work together uh, to see how we can make learning fun for, mm -hmm. for their mm -hmm. students. Have you engaged the Department of Basic Education maybe? Not yet, but that is the plan. We'd like to actually engage them. Mm. Did you ever think Wandi Loguti Ilendo it's going to go this big? Um, I was surprised. I didn't think that it would be this big and even to fully conceptualize the power of this puzzle. So that was not apparent to me. It's something that took time. Mm. It is born again so that we can get a, a clear understanding. So it's 49 pieces of course. It's 49 pieces. Here I've got um, a colored puzzle so kids like to color them in. And you can see, for example, that's the size of Egypt and that's how it looks uh, in proportion to Ethiopia, for example, which is actually part of East Africa. So you combine these pieces together and um, you form the African ca continent. Um, the challenge is to um, build it within three minutes. Uh, the world minutes. record, yes, yes. Yeah. The current world record is 1 minute 50 seconds. It took me 8 months to get to 255 seconds. 255. Yes. So you, you get in there. All right. Are they available in shops as it is now? 
Uh, yes, they are available on our online store on www.mapblitz.com, B-L-I-T-Z, mapblitz.com. Um, we will be retailing nationally next month, end of March. End of March. Yes. All right. And uh, uh, you are a qualified theoretical physicist. Where do you get time to also work on this? Are you working or is, is this just your your focus for now, your area of focus? So this has become my full-time job. I think we all know that uh, employment, unemployment yeah. in South Africa is actually one of the key issues. So um, with, yeah, I'm planning to actually also start employing people. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I mean, science has taught me to, to improve always. Yeah. And that's where I think I've learned uh, some of the yeah, the ethics. So you don't, you don't just want to be an academic, you want to be an entrepreneur. I agree. Yeah. I agree. But how, how are things looking? Do you think you'd be able to sustain a living out of this? Yes. So um, these have been well received. We've sold the first 500 um, in, in six months. And um, yeah, we're planning to roll out nationally. I mean, some of the photos that we've received from customers mm. and feedback is actually amazing. Mm. That was unexpected. And we do know that puzzle solving puzzles and playing chairs are always associated with the right people. And you did quite well in your metric year, 100% <laughs> physical science and 90-something on maths. Uh, actually, I, I would have loved that, but it was switched <laughs> around. around. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you've got to have the brains in order to be able to solve this puzzle in three minutes. It's yes, so, so to do it in three minutes, you have to practice, you have to know every country in Africa and that's what we're encouraging people to do mm. before they can actually engage with the content that will come a bit later. All right so you said it took you how long before you could solve it in 255? Uh, I'm a slow learner it took a me eight learner. months <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the world uh, champion it took at two uh, two months. Two months. Yes. Ah, Wandila, let's leave it at that, but thank you so much for coming through. Thank you for having me, Balisa. Thank you so much indeed. There you have it. That's uh, Wandile Mabanga talking to us about uh, these puzzles. Um, so you can, they can go to your website. Your website again? Uh, my website is www.mapblitz.com. All right, and they'll get them for only 300 bucks. 300 rands. Okay, yes. Thank you so much indeed. Thank you. Well, we're taking a break.